So notice how we have this option here on the actions, either on the rotate action or on the translate action, that you can check or uncheck this option called every frame. I want to talk quickly about the concept of frame rates and frames. So very similar to films, when you see video games playing on a screen, you have different frames that's being presented to you, right? So uh, if, you, if you're familiar with uh, games, sometimes you, you'll hear people say, you know, something is running at 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, or 24 frames per second. Um, and that simply means in one second, how many different images are presented to you. And another way of thinking about it is a frame is a unit of, it's almost a unit of progress in the, in the game, right? So the game goes from when you first start the game, you're at frame one. And when you, and, and, and as the game continues, it starts to go from frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, frame five, and each frame is really short. But that's that's how it works. It's you, you basically think of it think of it as a measure of progress of the game, right? So whenever you start, it's always you know first frame, and then you go from there, and then it continues to increase the number. So the idea of every frame here is that you want to rotate 15 degrees every time there is a progress in the game, an update, every time that the game is updated. Um, so if, 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 if this is a little bit foreign to you, um, just think of it as a measure of, almost like a measure of time, even though it's not exactly time, but just to make it easier to understand, can think of it as a measure of time or progress in, in the game. Now, the reason why we want to check this is because we want the object to continue to rotate. Because if we don't have every frame, then this action will only be, uh, uh, this, uh, this action will only rotate the object once. You only rotate the object by 15 degrees and then it's done. I'm sorry, it's not actually degrees, but it's going to be rotating um, the object by 15 units and then it will finish this action and go to the next one. Let me demonstrate that for you. So this is our original setup. We have every frame. Right, so it's rotating and it's going to rotate for 10 seconds as we set it up. I'm going to stop it now. If we uncheck every frame, pay very close attention to this cube. Okay, I'm going to press start. It rotated a little bit and then it just stopped. Right, and it just stops and wait there. Right. So, by the way, I just noticed my mistake. This is degrees. Um, well, in, in Unity, there are two different systems for rotation, and and uh, this one here, um, I just noticed Y angle, so it's 15 degrees. Um, but anyways, so the um, frame is basically if you have whenever you see every frame, you have to think about: Do you want this action to be? continuous, do you want the object to do this action continuously? And in our example, we want the object to continue rotating each time, 15 degrees, 15 degrees each time, but we want it to continue rotating until we are out of this state. If you don't have every frame checked, it's only going to do this once. Okay, so just if you don't quite understand the concept of frames yet, um, just remember that sort of rule of thumb is if you want this thing to continue to have this action, check every frame. And same thing here with move. 
Um, if you don't have every frame, then it's only going to move one unit on the x axis once, and then it will just stop. Um, let me demonstrate that. And also, I'm just going to make a quick change here. I think 10 seconds is too long. I can do three. Okay. Okay, it's rotating. It's in the rotate state. As soon as it goes to move state, I don't know if you caught that, but it moved once and then it's just stopped. It did not continue moving in that direction. Let's pay attention again. Rotating, move, just a quick snap, and then it stopped. Now, if I. Okay, I just stopped the game. Again, if we have every frame, this will, this is the desired behavior, you have continuous movement, continuous rotation, or continuous movement now, and then stop. And then again, continuous rotation, every frame, we're rotating 15 degrees every frame, and then we're moving one unit every frame. So that's the concept of frames. Another thing I want to quickly mention is the concept of runtime. So when you're editing the game, you can change the position of objects, right? But this has no implement. Uh, well, this does not affect how the object moves in the game, right? So we're moving along the uh, the x axis here, but the game is not running. So this is editor time. You're, you're, you're editing, the, this object is moving in editor time, right? Because you're, the game is not running. When the object is moving while the game is running, we call that a runtime, right? So, so this object is currently moving in runtime. Um, it's just when you, you're going to see this term uh, continuously as you continue to learn about game development, and it's um, it's good to know what it means. It simply means at runtime means something is happening when the game is running, when the game is running. So everything that's happening now is runtime because the game, as you can see, we're playing the game. The game is running. When the game is not running, then we're not. This is not runtime, right? Even though you, you can see this cube moving, this is not runtime. Just quick note on that.